Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and we have a super cool sample to run today. I'm super excited about this. This is uh, the waste, the leftover stuff from copper wire granulators. And so how this works is they chop up the copper wire into real fine little pieces, and the copper comes off uh, an air table, and the copper's heavy, so it goes up. The plastic and the paper is real light, so it comes down into the tailings but they lose a lot of little tiny copper wires and little hairs and little flakes and copper dust into the waste. So we're gonna take this material, run it through one of our 16 by 12 inch hammer mills behind me. It has a two millimeter by one inch long slot in it. It'll help wet it and uh, break up the little hair wires and the stuff with hooks and liberate the plastic from the remaining copper. Come down onto the shaker table. The copper is gonna come across to your left into the number one and number two and the three and four should have mostly plastic and paper goes down to the waste. So we'll run this, super excited to see what happens and hopefully we can recover quite a bit more copper out of this material. So what we've got here, we've stopped the table in the middle of the process of running the granulated copper chops and what we can see is a high percentage of copper coming out of the top two long grooves working over toward the left under the water bar. And then further down the table here, we've got a little bit of leftover plastic. Most of the plastic ended up down in the number four waste, but there's a little plastic, that multicolored granules that you see coming down into number three here. And then starting on the second long groove, we've got those white flecks coming out. They are less dense than the copper because they're coming down the table instead of across the table. There's more in this groove here and you can see them the same operation here with the copper migrating to the left and the white flecks migrating pretty much straight down the table. And as it turns out, those white flecks, those are the aluminum components of the granulator waste. And before we ran it through the hammer mill, a lot of that was foil and some of it was actual wire, but a high percentage of it was foil. So coming down into number two, we're catching virtually all the aluminum in our safety grooves and a little bit of the leftover copper. And so coming into number two is a high percentage of the aluminum. And then coming into number one is a very high percentage of the copper. And it's almost absolutely pure little granules coming into number one of the copper fraction. This is really a remarkable success. There's a huge amount of valuable copper material in the waste copper chops. All of it's fairly small. There's not any uh, number 14, 16 in this, this is all like comm wire or extension cord wire that ended up in the air separation waste material. Okay, so here's the results from our 
copper granulator test. This is the waste from copper granulators, and this is super, super cool. So this is our number one fraction. It is pretty much pure copper. There's hardly any aluminum in there. We ended up running 29 pounds of the material, and this is two pounds exactly of copper. So it's about eight or nine percent of the weight was copper. This is our number two fraction off the shaker table. And it's mostly aluminum. There is a little bit of copper wire that ended up in there. But this is still very, very close to 100% metal by weight. And this is one and three quarters pounds of metal in our number two. So when you add them both together, you get three and three quarter pounds of metal came out of the material. That's right around 13% of the total weight of that granulator waste still had metal fractions in it. So this is a huge, huge amount of value that people are throwing away that we actually can recover with our shaker table and our hammer mill. So I am super excited to see the results. I think it was a, a absolutely perfect test. The results are great. We saved some buckets. We're going to play with different screen sizes in our hammer mill. I think the hammer mill is actually really important to help break up the, the paper and the copper and the fluff. Uh, there was one point where we tried to feed it right onto the table and the material floated off. So it needs to be wetted or mixed somehow. Um, but we, I think we can get a huge throughput and recover a whole bunch more metal for these guys that they're losing and throwing away right now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be more to come. Hopefully we can get a little bit more efficient at it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching.